picture might be a little bit rotated. So anyway, this is just a guide. So let's go ahead and get that um, next set of profiles here. Did we grab those already? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our interp curve. We'll start it right up here. Oh, let's put planar on. Start it right over here. Now I'm imagining it looks something like this. And we want to, actually that's wrong. We want it to meet up with our end here. So let's go ahead and just do something like that. I thought we traced it out on here already. Yep, we did. So, um, let's go ahead and rotate that over. Mirror. Change that color. Alright, now let me just edit this a little bit. F10. Go ahead and move that to here. Alright, we're going to pull all this down. Give it a nice even look here. Alright, so that's not a bad curve to start with. Just pull this out a little bit. Alright, so that curve and this curve are going to do a curve from two views. And here is our new curve. Alright, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and bring this up. Oops, F10. Just rebuild that first, actually. Let's go ahead and rebuild. Let's go 12. 10, I'm just going to drag this one up so it meets at the, p oh, turn off my project, drag it up so it meets, we can go ahead and um, edit the rest of it over here, let me just pull some of this up, there we go. Go ahead and hide these. So now we can sort of see this ring tape sh take shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and we want it to meet this corner down here. So we're just going to do another blend. It looks pretty good for what it is so far. So we're just going to split this with a point kind of high right about there. Delete this. We'll do our blend with handles. Alright, that looks pretty good. We can always move this up the ladder a little bit. Um, adjust this right here. Adjust our handles. Let's move that up just a tad more. pretty good. Let's go ahead and join those up as well. Alright, so now here's the tricky part. Um, we do have some sort of concave profile in here. So what I'm going to do is go quad. Uh, let's go quad to perp. We'll put a profile right up here. Let me just measure that length. It's about 3.3 .3 millimeters. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my side view here and draw a profile. Type in 3.36, just so we have a, a reference here. And I think I'll make my profile look something like, sort of rounds at the top, and then it comes in, and then it sort of comes 
out a little more. Just go ahead and play with these a little bit. course you can draw it to however it fits your ring. So I think it looks something like that. So let's go ahead and do a transform orient two points. We go from end to end and end to end. Alright. It's a little wide. Let me just scale this a little bit. There we go, a little 1D scale. So now we're going to try sweeping that. And to do that, I'm going to use actually these two profiles and join them together to make one. As you can see there, let me get rid of these. Because that, if you look in the picture, that whole corner kind of blends together. So let's go ahead and try this. We're going to do a sweep two this profile to this profile. Alright, that's actually a pretty smooth transition. I like that, so we're going to keep it. Oops, let me flip that over. And while we're skinning stuff here, let's go ahead and sweep these as well. Sweep two. Add a slash for consistency. Alright, flip that one over as well. Alright, to finish this little end up, I'm going to go ahead and grab these two rails and I'm going to split them with this profile. So now we have these two little short rails. I'm just going to do a sweep two. This curve. Gives it a nice organic tip there. And now, if I join this curve back up that I just split, join. We're going to do a sweep two with these using this bottom profile. Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to join them at the tip there. Split point. Now we'll do a sweep two. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and join that together. Join. Rotate with copy from F4. Let's go ahead and bring our ring and whatnot back out. Okay, we came a little close there, but that is pretty much what we're going for. Um, so let's go ahead and finish the rest of that ring. I've got a profile here. Join it up. To get a profile for this end, I'm just going to go to Curve, Duplicate Edge. Join. Now I'm going to use our regular ring rail here. Do a sweep one. I selected the wrong order. There we go. Join that up. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and put some finishing touches on it. Curve, extract ISO curve. In the middle there. Let's do an F6 for some gems. I'm going to change our orientation to object. Um, let's see, we'll do tapered gems. This top one will be kind of small. And this one will be a little bit smaller too. There we go, just 
adjust the spacing a little bit. Alright, now we can turn on gen tops. Yeah, let's go ahead and put these in a channel builder. Want to get a nice curved profile on the on the edge here, and then just extend this cap, raise it up a little bit. Oops. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and mirror that over or rotate with copy. And let's go for the boolean. Solid boolean difference. Select our new cutter, and there you go. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and mirror this group over. I'm sorry, not mirror. Rotate with copy. All right, and there you go. I would say that looks pretty similar to the ring we're working on. Let's see if I can pull that up here. Alright, yep. So that is how you do that sort of um, climbing bypass ring.